The most important thing you should do in every single math class you take is to take responsibility for your own success. That's right. This is something that I did in every single class. I probably overdid it in the sense that I think I did isolate myself a lot of times. I worked alone. I, I didn't really work a lot with my classmates. So looking back, I probably should have done a lot more of that. That's, that's totally worth doing. So what I'm trying to say is you want to make sure that you give it everything you have and that you don't make any excuses for yourself in your mind when it comes to your studies. You know, if you're, if you're taking a class and, and you go to class and you don't understand anything in class, that's just part of life, right? It's going to happen, right? And eventually you're gonna get a teacher where, where you just go to class and you don't understand everything. I mean, I maybe understood 60% of what was taught in class, and that, that's a good average, I think. So for every single class I took, maybe 60% is what I understood. And so the rest, what did I do? I just went home and I figured it out, right? I had books, I had a bunch of books. I still have tons of books. That's why I have so many books, right? Because I had to figure it out on my own, okay? I had to figure it out on my own. Plus the internet, the internet does help, but I tend to use the books more. Um, you know, I, I, if I was taking abstract algebra, I'd, I'd pick up four abstract algebra books. If I was taking complex variables, I'd pick up two or three complex variables books and just have as many resources as possible so that after class, I was able to you know, figure it out on my own. And the thing is, uh, you might be watching this video and you might think to yourself, well, I tried that and I can't figure it out. Same here, right? I didn't figure it out every time. I struggled, right? I had a really hard time. It would take me days to do my homework. Uh, very rarely was I able to get a homework assignment you know, go home, maybe it's 10 questions, and just do them all. <laughs> no. Maybe, maybe three out of the 10 in one day, and then the next day a couple more, and then, you know, after about a week, it was probably due then, and then maybe I had all 10, but I wasn't really sure on three of them. So, you know, I'd go to class early and try to see if I could make friends. <laughs> you know, you, you, do, you do whatever you can to get through it. You know, it, it's a struggle for everyone. And so just remember that and, and don't make excuses. You have to be your own success. You have to do whatever it takes. I think a lot of times people get frustrated. That's one thing that happens with people. They, they're taking a math class, they don't understand what's going on and they blame someone else for it. And that's okay, right? I still do that all the time. We all do, we're human. It's really easy to blame other people for your problems. You know, I think, I think over the years, I've gotten a lot better at that in all aspects of my life. I've gotten better at not blaming, you know, bad life situations or my problems on other people. I just, I accept them now and I figure out how to work around them. And I think that's what you have to do with mathematics when you're taking your math classes. You know, if you have a problem, you, you face it head on and you work around it and you do whatever you can to make it work, right? We all, we all face adversity in math in our lives and overcoming it is, is something that you get better at in time. And just don't give up, okay? So if you're having a hard time with your classes, take that responsibility and then just know that you're not alone and you can do it and don't give up. Another thing, another thing that I think sometimes happens with people is, is they lose motivation. So there's frustration and then there's loss of motivation. So this is something that for me, I always had a really easy time staying motivated. I've always been a very, very motivated person. And I, I really don't know why. I think one way that I would motivate myself in the past was to tell myself, hey, you know, if, if I don't try, then, then I will never succeed, right? right? If I don't try, I will not succeed. And then in five years, I will look back on this moment and I will tell myself, oh, hey, why didn't I try? So you don't want to have regrets. So by trying, you can avoid having regret. So that worked for me. Uh, I don't do that anymore. And now I just stay motivated all the time. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but you can do that. So if you're having problems with motivation, just try to like, you know, ask yourself, you know, why am I doing this?